So let's make a armature for paper mache animals using wire hangers without pliers because you might only have wire and no pliers. So first I wanna take away the um, hanger shape. Then I want to unwrap, if possible, my wire and kind of straighten it out and play around with it. And then I need to think about what is the um, you know, overall structure that I'm making. So you usually have the kind of a head and a spine and some legs, right? So if you have it to scale, it's kind of helpful to lay it out just like this so you can follow that line or at least take a look at it in your sketchbook or reference images. Don't work from memory, right? You really do need reference images. Now the tricky part here is bending it back on itself, right? So you're gonna have, you know, wire hangers are fairly thick. And now I need to make the legs. I'm doing the back legs here and you have to think about it um, three-dimensionally. So I'm not just letting them sit straight down. I'm actually making hips too. So you need to bend them out and then down. And then I'm getting to the bottom, so I'm gonna bend it back up on itself. And so now here you can kind of see where those hips are taking shape, right? And now I need to play around with how am I gonna get this to hold. If I had pliers, I could use those pliers to really pinch this together and twist it. Um, I'm actually gonna end up using tape here. If you can really tightly wrap it, the tape can often hold it just as well. You could probably even use twisty ties or maybe even string, right? So there's a lot of ways that we could think about um, holding this together if we don't have pliers to compress it. So now I'm bringing that back up. So I'm just doubling back on myself a lot for, um, for this. And now I need to wrap this back up the spine to get to this front leg. And unfortunately I did run out of my wire. So um, you would need to add perhaps another uh, piece of wire depending on you know how big your piece is but once you are done make sure you get all of your proportions right and the angle and kind of position fairly accurate already and then you want to add so I'm actually playing around here with maybe I put the neck down for a leg and then I decided no um, but you're gonna add your newspaper or bubble mailers also work as your filler right wrapping around the body and then you're gonna go ahead and paper mache over it and that's it, using wire to create my armature plus filler.